Hello and welcome to the Geshu.com Incorporated uh, video tutorial for installing our WordPress plugins. In today's tutorial, we'll be going through the installation of the social media auto poster. The current version is 2.01 at the time of this recording. Um, this is the ultimate plugin for auto posting your content to social media. Uh, time's money. We all don't have enough time to sit there and write the content. Uh, uh, go to different channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google+, and then manually post our content. This module automates that process for you so that you can use that time to run your actual business, whether it's writing content or whether it's selling t-shirts, whatever it is. Uh, we wanted to develop this module to help you um, automate the process of pushing out your content through social media channels. Our products are, are actually designed to cover 360 degrees of your website success. You could theoretically automate everything. Again, the, the plugin we're going to, in, going to go through today is the WordPress Auto Poster, but uh, we have a bunch of other products. Ones that, are, that we highlight here, we have a WordPress Facebook Crawler. What that does is it goes to Facebook using keywords that you enter it finds content for your website so you could use the Facebook uh, crawler to get new content and then use the WordPress auto poster to repost that content from your linking back to your website to your social media channels we then have the WordPress viral content plugin what that does is give you the ability to block or to hide an entire article or individual pieces of content within your article or web page so that in order for people to see that content they need to share the link to their own social media channels so it helps you drive more tra traffic and and hence the term viral makes your content viral you could use this for you know the the, the punchline of a joke uh, statistics backing up whatever your articles content is about um, PDF downloads, video viewing, um, anything that you want, you can actually use this module to hide it from the viewer until they share your content to their own followers. We then have the WordPress Twitter Manager. <clears throat> it is specific to, to Twitter. It helps you grow your Twitter follower base. Again, using keywords or using your competitors' uh, uh, Twitter IDs, it goes out and befriends people who are either tweeting about the terms that you entered, your search terms or your hashtags, or if you have a competitor and you'd like to try to, say, snipe their followers, <clears throat> um, it sends out a message and tries to befriend those people. So those are the, the main products that essentially wrap around your, your website to automate the process of helping you grow and helping you uh, um, get more visitors helping you get more followers so that you can focus on what your business is. Uh, we follow the principle of if you don't look good using our product, then we don't look good. We spend a lot of time debugging. Um, we spend a lot of time installing it in different uh, atmospheres. We spend a lot of time in supporting our, <clears throat> our products so that it works out of the box for you. That helps your, you get up and running faster, and in turn helps your business grow faster, and that uh, gives us <clears throat> the ability or, or the, the, the pleasure to know that in the future when you see new products that you can use from us, um, you, re you remain a lifelong customer. Together, through this combination of, of purchasing our products and installing them on, on your website, we can develop a winning team. That's our goal. With that said, I'll jump right into the social uh, media auto poster plugin and the install process of this plugin. Very simple, um, so let's jump right into it. First off, when you purchase the product and you download the zip folder, all of our products have the name of the product and then the version. As I said, at the time of this, of this recording, version 2.01 is the newest. We'll be uh, coming out with a newer version very shortly. Once you unzip that folder, unzip that uh, uh, that package, <clears throat> inside there, there are three main uh, pieces that you will have here. You have a change log, then you'll have a documentation folder where inside is an index.html, 
That's the documentation that shows you exactly what I'm showing you through this video. Finally, you will have the zipped WordPress plugin that you're going to install. Here I've already unzipped it for a process uh, for this video. Inside the changelog, it shows bug fixes, new features, <clears throat> going back from the very first version up into uh, the most current version. Again, inside the documentation folder, this index.html contains <clears throat> this file here that from start to finish shows you how to install and set up the plugin, um, whether you want to upload it or whether you want to install it through WordPress's default plugin installation process. That's what we're going to use today. I'll show you how to create a Twitter app, how to configure the plugin with the Twitter settings, create a Facebook app, create a LinkedIn app, create an Instagram app, and a special feature that we've added to this module is the ability to use Google's URL shortener. <clears throat> you see here this URL is astronomical long. It's, it's just a file, but many URLs on the internet have they're just too long to read. <clears throat> what, what this Google URL shortener allows you to do is take this URL and through our module it automatically shortens the URL for you if you activate it. You don't have to use it. So again, <clears throat> if I want to install this plugin, I scroll down here to the installation and setup section. I have two methods I can use. The first method, is, which is the one we're going to use today, is through the default WordPress uh, um, plugin installation process that you see when you log into your admin section. The second one is through the use of F FTP. Not everybody has FTP access or uses FTP access or is familiar with FTP access, so for this tutorial's sake, we're leaving it out. If you, this video tutorial, <clears throat> if you feel you want to use it, here is the, inside this documentation that uh, you'll receive, is the process step-by-step very easy. So, I am logged into the admin section of my WordPress website, I'm on the dashboard, and I want to install this plugin. So I go to plugins, and I go to add new. If you have a, maybe an older version where the add new is not there, you just click on plugins, at the top you'll see add new. Then I click on upload plugin. Then I click on choose file, and I select the file here, the WordPress social auto, uh, social auto poster 2207. That is the actual um, plugin <clears throat> that I extracted from the original downloaded zip folder from Code Canyon. I open it up. I click install. It might take 10 seconds. <clears throat> you see here the percentage sign was being shown. It's at 57%, 63%. It <clears throat> could take up to a minute depending on your internet connection, how long it is uploaded and then how long it takes to um, install the plugin. It has been uploaded now and it's going to take a couple seconds for it to create the database tables that are required for this plugin <clears throat> and um, implement the hooks uh, within WordPress so that this actually used. So you see here that it's been um, the package has been unpacked, the plugin has been installed, and here's the success that the plugin has actually been installed. Now we need to activate the plugin. We click on activate as soon as it's activated, what you'll notice here on the left-hand side <clears throat> is that you'll have a navigation point for Social Auto Poster. Here we have our Twitter manager that I mentioned earlier on in the video. Here we have a Twitter auto-reply module. Here we have a, a Twitter crawler, Twitter search to get uh, potential customers for yourself, and the viral builder and Facebook crawler. These are all our products, some of our products, I should say. I want to focus on the social auto poster. That's the purpose of this video. So I click here, and here is the settings section. Um, I enable and enter the app IDs for the social channels that I want to activate. Not everybody ha has a Twitter account. Not everybody has a LinkedIn account or an Instagram account. Maybe I just want Facebook, or maybe I want Facebook and I want LinkedIn. What I need to do is I need to create a Facebook app on Facebook's uh, developer website. Once that app is created, and the creation of the apps will be covered in another video, otherwise it would be too long and probably too boring for you. <clears throat> Once I create the Facebook app, I take the application ID, I take the application secret, I paste it in here and I click enable. Once I enable it, 
clicking on list account will give me the ability to add Facebook pages and determine which content types should be posted to that Facebook page. So I could have 10 Facebook pages, one about the weather, one about business news, one about t-shirts that I make. And, it, and if I have those different types of content types, when, I, when these posts are created, I could set it up so that those three different content types get posted to the three individual Facebook pages. So you're not posting all content to all pages. You can break it out. That goes, that's this, that goes for Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram currently. All of those are, um, are available. Multiple accounts, different types of content types being posted to those social media channels. Um, so that's the installation of the social media auto post. And uh, to see how to create the Facebook apps, you could again either check out the documentation in your downloaded zip folder, or you could watch the next video that I'll be uh, uh, that's underneath this video. Thank you very much.